<clears throat> Welcome back, Ice GT gamers. This is Ice GT coming to you live from Southern California once again. It is sunny and hot here in Southern California. We are in the upper 80s and low 90s in February. Boy, <laughs> can't believe how ridiculously hot it's been when the Santa Ana winds have rolled in. But uh, we're not here to talk about the weather. We're not here to talk about California. We're here to talk about XCOM 2. Welcome back, XCOM fans, to the sequel to XCOM Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. XCOM 2 is a fantastic sequel, and I have thoroughly enjoyed play to, playing it over the last few days since I picked it up, and decided that um, you guys only want to see the hardest and the most challenging challenges that can be put in front of a player. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you a brand new campaign, uh, different than the one that I showed on the previous video, and we're going to go ahead and start up a brand new legendary Iron Man campaign. All of the choices that I make are going to be final in the game. Nothing can be taken back. And let's go ahead and get started. Now that we've got a foothold, it's time to take the fight to Advent. We're heading into the city center to take down a public target. Something that will get people's attention. Oh, we're going to get their attention, all right. Definitely keep the heads down. Thank you, Bradford. Thank you for that wonderful mission briefing. All right. Operation Gate Crasher is about to commence. We are waiting for the drop lights. And we are go. Let's go ahead and launch and see what the uh, character pool has randomly generated for us this evening. Now I have not gone ahead and modified the character pool in any way, so these are all completely random characters that have been generated by the game. At some point in the near future, I may go ahead and actually create a character pool, but uh, for the time being, um, I'm going to stick with what the uh, what the system has actually generated for us. So we've got uh, Jack Thomas, Paul Hall, Matilda Bernard, and Kim West. And um, let's go ahead and grab our front runner here and take a gander over the edge and see what we spot if there are any aliens in sight. Nothing in sight. Okay. In that case, let's go ahead and. make a decision here. Do I proceed all the way out? No, let's go ahead and uh, and just get into cover here. Got lucky. No aliens in the immediate vicinity. Ah, there we go. First pod's been spotted. Alright, let's go ahead and set up a uh, ambush for these guys. But to do that, I've got to get all of my guys off of the roof. None of my guys have sniper rifles, so it's just going to be a matter of getting them into position. So, let's go ahead and put a second trooper let's do this. on that point. Let's go ahead and put a third trooper over here in the car cover. And let's go ahead and put our final trooper in the half cover here. Move, move, move. And that's going to end our turn. Let's see what the aliens do, see if they patrol anywhere near us. Now this is my very first time playing any of the XCOM games on Legendary Difficulty, um, but uh, even though I haven't personally played it, I've watched many many a game on the legendary difficulty at least on the original uh, XCOM Enemy Unknown at Enemy Within. Uh, more specifically uh, I have to give shout out to um, my favorite YouTuber of that particular ilk and that is uh, Beagle Rush from Australia who um, not only was uh, running the Long War um, modification but also running it on Iron Man uh, and uh, the impossible difficulty. They, they've named the difficulties a little bit different in this version of the game. Um, let's go ahead and move up. I don't want to get too, too close uh, for fear that they might patrol back into me. 
Here we go. Target spotted. Now for my first playthrough of this campaign, I know that there's at least two squads on this map. Confirmed. So we'll want to keep an eye out for the second patrol, wherever that may be. Um, that looks like a good position. And our final position, we'll go ahead and take up the position that, that on our fourth tr sorry, third troop just vacated. And then we'll go ahead and set up Overwatch for the whole squad. Excellent, they patrol back. But not quite into range. Very close, though. Okay. Hmm. It does not give me the ability to set up a great ambush. Uh, is there cover here? There is, but it's only half cover. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Move up to full cover here, but they could easily flank me when they activate. That's not the best choice. Um, however, if I come around over here, that would probably be a good choice right there. Uh, scanner, that shouldn't pick me up. So let's go ahead and rotate around over here for the flank. And set up an overwatch. Uh, we'll move into full cover here. Moving to designated coordinates. <clears throat> set up an overwatch here. We'll move Paul up one space. And then we will move over to the hard cover here to get a little bit closer and get better accuracy on the shots. We'll set up the overwatch here and then let's go ahead and activate the squad. We've got a 70% chance on the front trooper. Uh, let's go ahead and nail that. And the first shot misses on a 70%. Wow, that's not a great way to start. All right, here goes all of our Overwatch shots. Let's see if we can hit them. Excellent, he's down. Excellent, he's down. Oh, missed on the last shot. Oh, and he is in full retreat. He's going to get the. Uh, he's he's going to get the second squad. That's that's not good. Okay. Uh, which means he's going to return with guys who are ready for me. I need to get into a better defendable position. Probably going to need to take up that position there. So let's go ahead and grab Matilda, move her up. Uh, we'll start off just by moving to here. And we'll go ahead and take an overwatch there for the inevitable return. Um... Don't want my troops too spread out, so let's go ahead and you know what? That's actually a perfect hard cover. Let's go ahead and put Overwatch there. Can I get you in a better position? Yeah, let's have you go ahead and take the forward position here, Paul. Overwatch. And we'll go ahead and move Kim back up. And put you on Overwatch as well. Yep, there's the other squad. Just have to wait for them. They will come eventually. Alright, so Jax already got a kill. Paul did not. Matilda did not. Kim did. Alright, so I gotta get kills for Paul and Matilda to get them as much experience as possible. Let's go ahead and move Matilda up to the hardcover here. And... Overwatch again. Yeah, I like the hardcover there. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him there. I know that's the furthest forward position. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep it. 
And we'll move forward one space. Probably should have taken the uh, hardcover. Oh, they are flanking. That I was not expecting. I should have anticipated them coming at me from the side. Well, learn something new every day. Okay, well, at least it's my turn now, so let's go ahead and... Hmm, can we get a flank on this guy? Not really, no. Um... Flank is here. Actually, if I go here, I can get the flank. All right, let's let's see. No, I think I want to take hardcover here. Then let's move move Paul up here and take the flank. Excellent, he's got the flank. Um, and then we'll move. Can you see any of the troops from any of the other positions? Um, okay, yes, you can be seen from there, so we'll go there. What I'm talking about is the, the scene thing has to do with um, the little icon that shows up next to the enemy's head. We can move to a particular location. Um, you can see the little uh, crosshair icon here next to the health bar, uh, which determines whether or not the enemy has sight on uh, a particular enemy at that location. And unfortunately, I don't think that he is going to be able to get close enough to be able to get eyes on the final trooper. I wish I could scroll out further to see the range of vision, but that's... Now we're going to have to take what we can get here, so let's go ahead and move up to this half cover. Nope, too far away. Okay, well, if they if they move up... And I don't think I can get a grenade out that far. No, I cannot. Okay. Just taking stock of all of my options here. Uh, are you going to be able to get a grenade on any of them? No. Okay, looks like shooting is my best choice here. I got a 46% on you. You know what, I may want to just overwatch, uh, lock you down. So I'm gonna hold off on firing on him until I see what the flanking shots on this guy do. So let's go ahead and take our 66% here. Excellent. Would have liked more damage on a flank than three points, That, but I'll take what I can get. All right, let's go ahead and take the second flanking shot. Come on, crit. Give me a crit. Uh, four points of damage. Okay. The other thing that um, the impossible difficulty does is it increases the um, the hit points of uh, any of the um, enemies you're going up against. So I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's another fun thing to find out on the uh, first time around. So. I think rather than take a 47%, I'm going to go ahead and put him on Overwatch, see if I can't lock him down. Um, he's going to run, which is going to get me closer range. Oh, and a miss. That is, that is not good. Really? He's going for... Oh, uh, he's going for Mind Control. Okay, well, he's only got three hit points left. It should be pretty easy to take him out in the following turn. Unless he goes to Overwatch. He just went to Overwatch. Okay, so I'm going to have to take out the Overwatch first. Alright, so I got three turns to be able to take out the Overwatch. Uh, I do not want to fight an air at my own guy. And I got a 45% to hit him. However, a grenade will give me much better than 45%. Um, might not kill him, but it should blow up his cover and remove the overwatch. So I'll go ahead and uh, take that in a heartbeat. Alright, overwatch removed. There we go. Alright, so that's going to give me the opportunity then to come over here. To flank this guy and remove the mind control. 
Oh, that is all kinds of bad. There's the other squad. Oh, that is all kinds of bad. That is really, really, really bad. Okay. Hmm. Worst possible location to um, to get an enemy squad. Uh, I'm going to have to retreat back to here. I do not have a choice in that matter. I cannot leave myself in a flanked position. Which leaves me him to be able to deal with this new threat. So I'm thinking that it's probably going to be a grenade. Uh, surefire kill on this guy. Um, rather than take a 56% chance on my guy's lives. So let's go ahead and take that kill. That'll do a three point minimum. And he's down. Of mind control over. Did destroy the loot. That is unfortunate. Okay. Um. Twenty six percent on the officer. That's not fantastic. But <clears throat> if I rotate over. I should be able to get close enough to lob a grenade at the officer. <clears throat> Affirmative. Moving out. And blow up his cover as well. And it doesn't say that the cover's going to blow up. Yeah, we'll just have to take the damage. Okay, their turn. They're probably going to try to run for a flank. They do have a flank. That's... That is really, really bad. I did not want to lose troops on my first mission. Did not think that they could get me in the flank. And a panic... Does not help either. And he's going to run in Hunker. And get shot out of half cover. This is not going well at all. And that's a kill shot. No? Okay, just damaged. And a panic. And I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm going to get wiped on this one. So much for the grand start to my legendary campaign. Alright. Getting shot out of half cover like it's going out of style. And we've got two panic troops. And he's not in any kind of cover. He's going to get shot out of uh, flanking right here. Yep, you're dead. Just a matter of time. And you're dead. Okay, well, it looks like we are going to lose our very first mission on the Legendary difficulty. That I was not anticipating at all. I don't think there's any way to salvage this at this point. Cars are exploding. People are dying. Guys are panicked. And there we go. Oh, not quite dead. Not quite dead yet. <laughs> am I going to get any, any more turns? Oh, I am going to get a turn. Oh, oh hallelujah. <laughs> One hit point left in the whole squad. We're going down. We're going down, but we're not going down without a fight.
And he burned to death. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we've got eight more hit points to take out and no ammo to do it in. And we're next to, we're next to a car that could blow up at any moment. Oh, never mind. We got 12 hit points to take out. Yeah, that this, we're 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 very much dead. We are very very much dead. All right. I can come here and take a flanking shot against him. Uh, I did not see him take an overwatch. That's interesting. But we ran the overwatch. 66% chance. I'll have to take that. Did enough damage to kill him. Down. You're not taking me alive! <laughs> You're never taking me alive. Oh, and there we go. We wiped. Game over on the very first mission. Of our illustrious campaign. All XCOM operatives are dead or MIA. I'm returning to base. Oh goodness. Well, fortunately, you cannot lose the first mission, <laughs> so we get to restart. Oh, what a what an illustrious beginning. <laughs> and I have just shown how much of a noob I am. Um, but who could have anticipated that four-man squad at that location? There is absolutely no way I could have predicted them there, and if I hadn't moved there, I would have, I would have lost um, anyway because of the mind-controlled troop, and yeah, that was just that was just all kinds of bad. Okay, well let's see if they uh, if they give us the squad in the same location this time. Let's go ahead and move up. Sure enough, the squad's in the same location. Alright, hopefully this time around, I can actually take out all the guys, and they won't run and reveal me to everyone else. Uh, so let's go ahead and move there. Let's go ahead and move there. And let's go ahead and move there, just like we did last time. I didn't see anything wrong with my initial placement. It was just what happened afterwards. I'm going to laugh if I end up doing this flawlessly on the next time around. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. I do apologize for the forehead wiping. Once again, it's just blazing hot in this room. Even though I've got the fan going full blast, there's only so much a fan can do. Alright, let's go ahead and take our, take our positions here. There's our objective. You're near the target position. All right, let's continue moving up. <clears throat> Confirmed. Okay. Actually, let's go ahead and take that position instead. I'll take the full cover over half cover now that I've seen how bad half cover protects you. So, Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Let's see if they patrol in a different direction this time around. Interesting. They did not move at all. Let's take one more turn of Overwatch and see what they do. Still nothing. Hmm. Looks like they're going to force me to take the first move, so let's go ahead and take Overwatch, 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 and let's reveal, hopefully on a 70% hit this time. That is how it was supposed to have started from the get-go. We are revealed. They are running. Here's our Overwatch. You missed. You did not miss, but you didn't finish them off. <laughs> I 
have no idea. Yes. You ordered? Yes. They emailed me. I have no idea why. It's on my, it's on a brand new account I just created. <laughs> You're cheating. I tried to create the account so that you didn't see anything. I'm sorry. You wanna know why? You need to contact BPS and find out why they keep screwing everything up. <laughs> Seriously. They're ruining all my surprises. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, for the uninitiated, um, this has been two transactions in a row now where I've created transactions for Valentine's Day presents um, using my credit card and my information, and for some strange reason, because it's coming to our address, UPS keeps emailing my wife confirmations of the shipping. <laughs> and it's, um, it's kind of ruining the surprise. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, uh, we'll have to um, just keep moving on. Uh, let's make this easy. Uh, Jack, you've already got to kill. Paul. Paul, you do not. So move Paul up. And go ahead and eliminate with extreme prejudice. Good riddance. Headshot. Okay, um, let's go ahead and reload so we don't run out of ammunition in the future. Oh yeah! And Overwatch, Stunning. and same thing. Reload and Overwatch, because we do not have a timer on this mission, so I can take all the time I need. Overwatch. All right. Excellent. Let's go ahead and. <clears throat> Reload. I'm ready. You can stay there. You, on the other hand, should come up to here. To position. And reload. Let's rock. And move up. Overwatch. Move up and Overwatch. Alright. Gotta find that... Gotta find that sectoid, gotta find that advent officer. So... Let's take a glance over on this side. Move up the rest of the troops. Understood. Moving out. Confirm. Good copy. Moving on target. Okay, we've got everybody together. That now we can advance as a unit. Got it covered. Alright, we got sounds coming up from over there. That's completely understandable. And what is going on? What alien activity do we have that I can't see what's going on. Oh, it's a patrol who has just spotted us. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to train. A miss and a miss. That is not good. All right. Well, I'm kind of facing in the wrong direction, but that's fine. Let's, um, let's see how we're going to handle this. I'm not really in a position to flank in this direction because that sectoid's probably out there. So instead, I'm going to start rotating over in this direction. Which does give me a shot on a flanked trooper here. We'll go ahead and take that shot right now. And miss, apparently. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, you will. You better. Now we do have a trooper over there. Let's see if we can't toss some ordnance in his general direction and make his day really, really unpleasant. <clears throat> there might actually be a second trooper over there. I can't recall exactly where the other one went. So let's go ahead and 
toss it there. Nope, only one there. That's fine. And you, let's move up into half cover and go ahead and toss a grenade. Not quite enough range to get the flanked guy. 67% to take him out. Yeah, I'll take that. Critical hit! Six damage, he's down. Fantastic. Okay. And what else can we do about this guy here? Um, Alright, let's see if we can bait him into, um, into charging me. Nope, he's just going to mark me. Got lucky that that missed. Marking must be a free action. That's interesting. Ouch. Well, a wound is not fatal. Panicking doesn't help, though, especially if you just ran yourself into open cover. You're now ready to be flanked by the other guy. Gonna have to protect you. Alright. That I don't think will be a flank. That will be, but if I move there and I reveal the sectoid, I'm in real trouble. Gonna have to. Rolling. Gonna have to take the chance. Whew! Did not reveal the sectoid. Fantastic. Alright. Please, 85% hit. Alright, you're down. Excellent. Enemy okay. Next up. Let's move to full cover here and toss a grenade right at his feet. See if we can't set him on fire like we did last time. Nope, did not set him on fire. That's unfortunate. I've got another one of those where that came from. Actually, you know what? Let's see what my shot percentage is. Oh, 30%. No. No, no, no. Come on, max damage. I need a max damage roll right now. Minimum damage. And he is running. Okay. No longer panicked. That's good. But I'm still marked. Uh, you are now flanked. 46% chance to hit you. No grenades left. Let's get into full cover. And reveal the sectoid. Oh gosh. Dang it. That's really bad. That is really bad. Okay, well, we got a 50% to finish this guy off. No grenades. I'm going to have to take it. Thank you for a 50% kill shot. I definitely needed that. Alright, Mr. Thomas. I think I'm going to bring you over here and set up an ambush. Full cover is needed in this endeavor. No eyes. So let's get eyes. 
Sight on Sectoid at a 45%. No. Thank you. Let's hope that he charges. Excellent, he charged. Come on, hit him on the move, hit him on the move. Miss. Hit him on the move, hit him on the move. Miss. Come on, guys. You've got to shoot better than that. And he's going to Psy attack. No, he's going to raise a zombie. Okay. That's fine. We still got one turn to kill him before the zombie becomes active. But that may become a little bit challenging given how much stronger the uh, guys are this time around. Alright, that's good. He missed. I think I've got enough movement that I can get a flanking shot on these guys. So let's go ahead and move here for the flank. Excellent. Take a 65% flank. Actually, let's go ahead and finish moving before we take any shots. Alright, we'll go ahead and... Move here. That looks like the best choice for the flank. Nine percent on that shot. All right. What else do we have? I got to prep for the concept that I might not be able to uh, get away from the zombie fast enough. So I'm going to need to move here. He's only got one round in the magazine, though. All right. Let's hold off on that. Let's see what Kim West has got for us. I need to get at least, I believe it's uh, seven tiles away from the zombie. Otherwise, you risk getting hit. We've got no grenades. So let's roll around over to the side here. And 46%, 27%. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an overwatch trap on that so that if I don't get the um, sectoid with the shots that I can possibly recover. Alright, I need one of these to crit. I need one of these to crit badly. Excellent! Seven points of damage. Could not have asked for better than that. Let's... Let's hit a 69. Headshot, you're down. Fan freaking tastic. Could not have asked for a better result. Oh my goodness. Okay, in that case, you don't need to move to be able to take a reload and fire turn. Um. I'll take 147 on him. And do 5 damage. That was unexpected. Area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. Scanners are clear. Minnesota okay then. We have a limited window to act before advent responds. We need to get those charges planted on the double. All right. Well, let's move you up for the loot for next turn. What was that? I don't know. I need you to reload. That sounds like reinforcements. Let's move you back here. Plant the C4. Plant the X4, sorry. Rendezvous at the extraction point. All right, where's the extraction is point? Squad is clear. Oh. Detonating charge. Well, I probably should have played that a little bit differently to get the loot. I probably didn't get the loot. 
Oops. <laughs> well, it certainly wasn't flawless, but it certainly wasn't a wipe either. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a roller coaster. What a freaking roller coaster. Operation Gatecrasher is a success. <laughs> the start of our uh, illustrious legendary campaign off to a very rocky start, but thanks to a loophole where you cannot lose the first mission, we managed to salvage the whole operation with one uh, critical wound. He's probably going to be out for about a week, I mean, I guess, possibly even shaken, um, where we'll have to bring him on another mission and uh, have him get a kill so that he recovers his willpower. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time. Gravely wounded. All right, you did good work, and for that you're going to be rewarded with a shotgun and a sword. All right, he wants some revenge. He wants to be able to get in there at close quarters and hack and slash some aliens into yellow goo for having dared to shoot him, Mr. Jack Thomas. All right, our. Next rookie is being promoted. Serving as our demolitions experts, the grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Enter Grenadiers it's Kim West. Just like it sounds. Our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Enter sharpshooter Paul Hall. I'm gonna laugh if his nickname ends up being like Saul. <laughs> Saul Paul Hall here. And finally, our specialist. Some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones in the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Let's welcome specialist Matilda Bernard. All right, it actually looks like we did get the um, the loot there. We got an Illyrian core and an advanced autoloader. Uh, first two reloads in a mission do not cost an action. That's going to be handy to have later on, once we get moddable weapons. Okay. Commander, to the research lab. Let's uh, go ahead and skip through. We definitely want alien biotech first. Find that area of research to be and skip the video. You don't want to sit around and watch that. Uh, build items. Uh, we are definitely going to want a med kit and a flashbang to start off with. Pickings are slim, but I'm hoping we find a few more recruits who can handle a wrench. I could use the help. Yes, you could. All right, let's go ahead and uh, hop right into things. While we prepare for new operations and continue our research, we can pass time by scanning... Alright, doesn't appear to be anything available yet, so let's go ahead and, and scan for intel. Alright, yes, we do want supplies. Let's head that direction. Avengers remote scanning capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time, though. We've got a lot of yes, it is. Over. Lots of time. Fifty-six resources. Okay. Crumbling Sports Arena. All right. Uh, seven days to get an engineer. Uh, yes. Yes, and heck yes. I was hampered in my previous campaign by only having one engineer for like the first two months. Um. So getting an engineer this early is definitely a boon. All right. The Advent offices have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders. Psionic. The Advent office. 
let's go ahead and move right along with our research. Thank you very much, Doctor. I know I cut you off, but uh, we've got some scanning to do. As the resistance continues to grow, All right. We have a chance of New gorilla target is up. And reward is an engineer. We've already identified a potential target to disrupt the aliens' operations in this region. Our window of opportunity is limited, so we'll have to move fast. Yes, we will. Let's move fast. All right. Let's make this quick. Let's make this easy. Holy mother of God. Um, okay, so apparently in the um, legendary difficulty, gravely wounded means you're down for five weeks. Yikes. I had no idea that the wound time was that incredibly long. That's going to make things interesting. Um, so we're going to have to get some other troops trained up real quickly so that we can uh, fill out our ranks and get uh, get some stuff done. Um, Alrighty. Um, let's go ahead and bring in a Grenadier, Sharpshooter, and Specialist, because those are the ones we have. And we have no choice but to bring in a Rookie, so who are we going to bring in? Uh, Olabode? Let's pick it Olabode. Alright, I'm going to do some quick modifications to my troops and get the squad looking schnazzy. Bear with me while I make my quick modifications here. I do like my uh, my troops to all be running around in the same uh, colors, so that particular pattern that I like to choose. Weapons all need to match, the armor needs to match. I won't bother with the props at this point, I won't make you wait for that. But uh, we do need to be looking like a squad that actually knows what they're doing. So bear with me for a minute or two while we switch things up here. All right, Mr. Paul Hall, looking dark and brooding, and our twitchy specialist is going to need to reflect the part as well. So let's go ahead and change these to the same values as everyone else. Okay. Rookies, I usually do not uh, change up their stuff because um, they're the um, most likely to die. <laughs> this week's most likely to die award goes to Rookie Digali. <laughs> or Digali? Digali. Heck, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, but that's okay because uh, He's, you know, dark and brooding already. He doesn't need dark and brooding armor to go along with his dark and brooding attitude. <laughs> um, I think that's probably going to be it. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and find out where where our mission is going to take us here. Landing sequence initiated. Roger, Roger. The resistance set up a data tap on the advent network through an access point in this area. And they've been retrieving data critical to the aliens' latest operation. Unfortunately, advent picked up on the signal and are moving to destroy the emplacement. We need to move in and eliminate any hostile forces threatening that device. Okay. I guess we're going to have to pick up next time with Operation Sleeping Laughter, which is very, very close to Operation Slaughter, uh, if you combine the two words together. Hopefully it is a slaughter of aliens and not a slaughter of my own troops, but we will have to pick that up next time. Until then, it's been a pleasure. We'll see you on the flip side.